Hi everyone, my name is Stacy, and today I'm excited to lead us through how to kick up into forearm stand against the wall. So first we'll try it without any props. Go ahead and grab a block if you have one. It'll be handy. We'll use it as one of our variations for kicking up against the wall. So for right now, if you have your block, put it to the side and make sure your mat is set up against the wall to start. So forearm stand requires a lot of strength and openness in the body, particularly in our shoulders, our hamstrings, our core, among other things. And all of that really begins in dolphin pose. So to begin, bring our forearms down to the mat. Our fingertips are going to be about six inches or so, maybe a little less, away from the wall. So notice how my forearms are parallel. My fingers are spread wide on both hands and my shoulders are directly over my elbows here. So this is our foundational shape. Then from here, we lift our hips finding dolphin pose. Start to walk the toes in towards the elbows. So this is where the hamstring opening comes into play. The further you walk your toes in, the more openness that uh, is really required in the backs of the legs. So just by holding this shape, dolphin pose, you're building a ton of strength in the forearms, in the core. You might even practice some dolphin push-ups by bringing the chin towards the thumbs and then pressing back. Yeah, it's like building tons of strength in the shoulders. You might do that a few times as a drill to prepare the shoulders and the body for kicking up. So you can hold that for five or 10 reps or take the dolphin push-ups and then take a break. Bring the hands back by the heels, find child's pose. Next we'll practice kicking up towards the wall. So same setup in the upper body, find your dolphin pose, lift your hips, forearms parallel, you're pressing down into the forearms, walk the feet in. From here you'll lift your favorite leg, go ahead and flex that foot of the lifted leg, keeping a closed hip which will help give you a little more control as you take hops towards the wall. So start to hop off the foot that's on the ground, gentle hops, maybe two or three hops will bring both feet to the wall. Notice how there's a curve in my low back. So to avoid that, let's lift one leg towards the ceiling, and maybe you take little hops with the foot that's on the wall, little taps. From there, start to bring the feet together, point the toes, draw the ribs in, make sure you're breathing, gaze in between the forearms or maybe in between the thumbs. Then from there, gently come down and take a break. When you're practicing your forearm stand, it's so easy for the elbows to splay out. A lot of beginners have trouble with that. So grab your block if you have one. We're gonna place the block in between our index finger and our thumbs, just like that. This will give us something to press into to help us wrap our elbows in. So same setup, bring the block about six inches or so away from the wall, maybe a little less. Press the block with both hands, lift the hips, walk the feet in, the opposite leg this time, flex that foot, and then take your hops. You might notice a difference straight away. Maybe you reach the wall on the first kick. So bring that leg towards the ceiling, the opposite leg, and then take little taps with the foot that's closer to the wall, and then maybe you bring the feet together. The wall is always there for you if you lose it, right? Ribs in. Point the toes. Slowly coming down, take a rest. I hope that's helpful to help you work into your form, stand against the wall with or without your block. So good luck and have fun.